Okay. What I'm about to attempt tonight. Something I've wanted to do for a really long time. Say, back in the late 80s and early 90s, I was involved in uh, the CB Citizen Band Radio World. And one of the most common at that time uh, aftermarket amplified microphones was called an Estatic E104 Silver Eagle. And the back of the Silver Eagle microphone has that half dollar eagle on it. Now, I've had this microphone since the late 80s. I'm trying to zoom out front so you can see. This is the microphone, it's all chrome. This is a really old, beat up one. Well, I don't know, really old, but from the late 80s. It's beat up. It's missing a little bit of chrome right there. And I've had this for a long time. This is my original, original one that I have. I've had others too. But, if you look on the back of the microphone, is that. Same eagle. I'm gonna try and recreate this microphone using the coins. Using using that half dollar as dead stock. Let's see if I can do it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut a half dollar. I'm gonna cut the center out to make this this ring for the front of the headstock on the microphone. So there we go. And what I decided to use for the front is a bicentennial, just to give it a little bit of, a little bit of glass, I guess. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I got some of this, this, uh, Flexible copper tube and quarter inch. Yeah, it's for refrigeration. Yeah, I'll be using it mostly for refrigeration. I have my chisel propped up in the vise here, and because the head of the, the the handle on the chisel is the size same size as the same width as a coin. I'm gonna wrap that tubing around that coil to get my to get my center section of the of the microphone. This pot. Okay, to try and avoid kinking this tubing, I'm gonna use a file handle to help me guide this around the tubing here. Yeah. Around the handle. Pull that around some more. I'll get. I'll adjust that up and get it nice so that it's gonna fit right in the center of the coin. There was 
I drilled this so I have it rounded like that. And I've cut this piece of tube and I'm going to insert it. And insert it in here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to flux this, these two points. I'll get that done and come back. Now what I want to try and do is what's called tinning. I want to try and I want to try and tin this so it gets that chrome look. So what I'll do is I'll heat this. I'll apply the apply the solder and then wipe it off with the rag. Let's see if it works. See how that works? Okay. Well, after a couple of and a couple of times with flux and solder, get a nice little silver buildup. <laughs> it's almost like chrome. Little trick. Okay. So now they got. I got this. I cut it off. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this this mesh. I'll show you how that's done in a second. Now what you want to do is take off enough brads to cover the hole by one on that on that coin. And we're gonna put those in the vise. You wanna take, put the brads on a piece of paper, tape like this. Every other one, flipped upside down. And then, when you when you've got it like this, you're gonna take this bottom row and pull them out of there. And then you're gonna put these into the vise with this, with the spacing that it has. Okay, so now you have something like that. Every other one with a, a particular particular space you want them to try, try to all be even sometimes when you tighten it up it doesn't work out that way for you but do the best you can like that like that and then you're gonna take every other one of these and you're gonna give it a little bend You're gonna bend one that way, bend one that way, bend one this way, bend one that way, and so on. And now you're gonna bend like that. One back, one forth, one back, one forth, one back, one forth. And then you're gonna drop. You're gonna drop a, a brad in there. And then you're gonna go back the other way. So this one's gonna come over here, and this one's gonna come over here, and so on. And then you're gonna keep doing that all the way up until you've got a mesh, or like a waffle. I'll get this one done and come back. And now you have it. You have it like that. Then we'll take another bread. And we're gonna drop it in there. And we're gonna repeat. Back this way, back that way, back this way, back that way. Okay, so then you come up with that. Keep uh, 
repeating process. Not perfect. But it does resemble that. And it, and I'm going to put a curve in it and we'll come right back. Okay. Now I have to put a little curve in the screen. And that little mesh I made. Kind of looking. Kind of starting to look like this. Huh? Let's see. Now to make the base, we're going to take a, a dollar and we're going to put it over a, a smaller hole and then from the middle with a quarter inch doming die, we're just going to press, we're going to press about a quarter of an inch in. I'll do that and come back. Okay, I almost got ahead of myself. Uh, that's the that's gonna be the base. I'm gonna drill out that hole to uh, receive this. Get your your hole drilled, and what we're gonna do is solder that in. That I flux this up. I want it nice and straight. We'll get that soldered, and I'll come back. Now for the side press to talk bar is a half round half round stock that goes from to almost the whole length of the neck. What I'm gonna do is take a piece of one eighth round stock brass. I've got it in the in the vise here, halfway in the device, and I'm gonna just knock this off with a file so it gives it a, so I get a half round piece out of that okay so after a bunch of filing I got a nice little half round bar These bars were always on the left side of the mic. Look at that. Now the bass push to talk was a smaller, smile shaped half round bar. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this smaller piece. I'm going to shave it down so it's half round and then I'll curl it so it's got that smile shape to it. Okay now I drilled a hole. This is a 1 16th inch hole. Here. And I drilled one here on the side. And then the two pieces I made up Drilled one there. And I drilled one in the middle of this smile shape piece. 
Now we're going to take and flux a couple of pieces of 1 16th copper Romex wire. Put one in that hole. the other piece use a flux on it a little bit of flux and we'll put it in this hole okay Let we do these one at a time Little pieces. And I get that just hot enough. <clears throat> we'll take that one out. Let it cool. And I'll put this one in. Okay, <clears throat> I put a penny here to keep a nice even space. What I'm going to do is flux this. And I'm going to I'm going to stick that in that hole that I drilled in the side of the bar. Put that even like that. I'm going to get my solder ready. I'll hit this with a little bit of heat. that cool okay so that's how that looks on there now we're gonna do the the base uh, push the top bar okay so now I'm gonna I sanded the face of that and fluxed those two surfaces and I put uh, solder between the two, between the two surfaces here. So I'm just going to heat that up until it, the solder melts. Should, should see it sink right down. There we go. Now they're supposed to be screws, four screws in the head, but this is such a small little thing. I'm going to saw to the front. I'm going to saw to the front and put the screen in and I'm going to come back later and because I don't, I did. I don't have the right screws that I thought I was going to be able to use for this tonight. So I'll have to go back out and get some more screws at some point. But I'm going to put this, put this together and you'll still be able to see what it, what it looked like after this cools down. So there we go. Side by side. 
Okay, now what I've decided to do with this is I'm going to finish this in another video. But all I have to do is get those screws, like I said, and install them. But while I was making this, I had another great idea. I don't have a computer microphone on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to get a, a cheap a cheap computer microphone and I'm going to turn this into my computer microphone and that'll be part two of this video when I finish this. If I can run a wire through there, not through there, and this will be a working microphone. I'll get a little bit of black felt to put in there like the original mic has. And I'll drill these four holes out. And I'll put the back on. Anybody that's a CB -er is going to be wild over this. There's a miniature Silver Eagle. Miniature, a static D104 Silver Eagle desk mic. Uh, 